back about here uh yeah right now i'm on my way to uh the church of ascension uh i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to been there i'm running late like late late but uh <laughs> i'm running late and uh it's kind of like a bad first impression this is not a first impression like i've been around but i'm supposed to be there for the uh the uh it's like the post placement post placement uh uh training so i'm about to miss like the whole thing is what it felt like unless i hurry up so i ain't even gonna like hold this up i ain't even gonna hold y'all up so i'm gonna just go on ahead and hightail my behind there i still got like the whole oakland i gotta walk the whole oakland so it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all when I get there. I'm sick as a dog. I got Isabel here. You want me on camera? Yeah, want me you sure? Camera. All right, y'all. This is Isabel. This is the one I was telling y'all about. She's with us on uh, Older Dice and Obama. Don't play with her. And that's her friend. This is Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. But yeah, we all in here. I'm sitting here right here. I told her not to sit by me because I don't feel too good, but she don't care. So yeah, it's all right. It's okay. You got anything to say? You want to plug yourself in? Or anything? No, I think no? you covered it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Young Life. Peace yeah. and love. Yes, young life, <laughs> neighborhood. And what they're doing, it's like a hands-on serving. So you're going to meet at 9.30 in the morning at... St. John Capistran. It's where? address uh, 1610 McMillan Road. It sits in between Mount Lebanon and Upper St. Clair. Which is where they're, yes. <laughs> Which is where they're running Capernaum Club tomorrow. So the work crew training, the folks are... Uh, doing work group training they're going to go they're going to help serve at capernaum club and then they're going to do like a, a hands-on training afterwards uh with lunch and uh have a lot of stuff <laughs> Back <getting> lunch afterwards? <laughs> uh allowed so this is called the uh the sushipe uh which is uh, sushipe. so um i gotta offer you can which is you. basically a uh, a lenten oh. prayer about no. kind of uh Letting go and, and being loved by the Lord. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to read. We'll all read the bold, the more bold part uh, together. And then I'll read the, the long, uh, not so bold part. So, why don't you go ahead and stand up. This will be our prayer. And then we'll, uh, we'll bring out the Sean. Can you read when you're... Can you guys read this now that you're standing? Sure. Yeah, no, can you read down here? <laughs> no? Yeah. Sit down. All right, grab a seat. <laughs> I'm like seven foot. Like, no. Hey, Kaylee, there, I think there's three slides in this, just so you know, okay? All right, here we go. All right, ready? All right, everyone on the count of three. One, two, three. Here we go. Take, Take Lord and receive all my liberty. 
take and receive my freedom that I have too often been using to decide who I want to be so that I become the person you want me to be. Take glory and receive my memory. Take and receive my sense of my past and its meaning and my sense of who I am. Take and receive my joys that I cling to and the wounds that still linger so as to live in hope. Take glory and receive my understanding. Take and receive my ability to imagine possibilities and my ability to be attentive and to generate insights and hypotheses and to find evidence to determine their truth. Take Lord and receive my entire will. Take and receive my love for my family members and friends, my love for your creation, all my likes and dislikes, all my desires, and my ability to make choices, and the feelings that tend to support or undermine my choices. Now, this is me. Take, Lord, and receive all that I have and possess, because in surrendering all to you, it will be purified and made whole, and be mine in the best possible way, because you and I will share what is rightfully precious to me. You have given all to me. To you, O Lord, I return. All is yours. Dispose of it wholly according to your will. Give me only the grace to love you and to love all else in you. And that is enough for me. Amen. Amen. All right, we get to hear from Ishan. Uh, Ishan's going to share with us about, you guys have new teammates, you are at, uh, and or your team is evolving. Um, maybe you just need a refresher on how to care for one another as a team. So give it up for Ishan. Hey, yeah, what's up? My name's Ishan. Um, if you don't know Yeah. Me, Ishan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I lead at South Bend High School on staff there. It was fun. Yeah. Um, before that, I lived in Cincinnati and I went to college at the University of Cincinnati. I got to be a life leader in Cincinnati. Oh, Sycamore High School, which is a ton of fun for me. And then about a year ago and a month, I moved here and it's been great since. Um, we got a lot of new teammates tonight, which is pretty exciting. Um, it's been fun for me the last week, you know, with my new team and then thinking about. You know, who I was as a 19-year-old that got placed um, like six years ago as a freshman in college at UC. And tonight we're just gonna talk about what it looks like to be a teammate, um, how to rally as a team, how to have unity as a team, what does that look like? Um, you know, there's this idea of like healthy teams have healthy ministries. Um, I think that's something we all desire, we all want for our teams, but how do we get there um, is the question. So. Uh, does anybody want to pray, and then I'll get going here. Yep, I'll pray. Thanks, Pete. Lord, thank you for tonight and this time together. Thank you for these friends, uh, God, who have taken time out of their days to, to gather and worship and learn more about you. God, I pray that um, you would speak through Isham, and he'd be your mouthpiece, and that we would leave uh, this church changed. In your name, amen. 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 All right, so I did anything by myself at first. It was always my teammates or my co-leaders um, that had been leading for a while, they're really kind to me, they're really good to me, and they would take me everywhere. They would take me with the kids that they were hanging out with at the time. They let me join their Bible study and show up when they were doing Bible study. And I grew a ton from that. Um, when we would go to football games or random hockey games or a JV football game. Um, oh, yeah. oh, this is my placement night of 2019. I still wear that orange ball. Baby, you uh, No beard. I look like a baby. Uh, this, is the team. this is my first Young Life team. Uh, that I got to Excuse my mask. So yeah, that was a uh, leadership. We basically was just talking about like, whoa, well, we really just took it to like, at least for us, like we was just like shouting out Isabel, you know, me saying what's up to Isabel and stuff like that. But uh, we was just basically talking about the kids we met. I didn't really meet too many. Hold on, let me see if I can try. I didn't really meet too many, but like, I don't really know, like, I feel bad because I kind of dozed off, like, while my man Ishan was talking, and I don't like that thing. So Ishan is that dude, like, I'm his number one fan. But, like, I definitely, like, dozed off. But um, I really don't know what I'm going to do after this. Like, I, I'm I'm not feeling good, so I'm going to have to, like, go ahead and... I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and, like, go to sleep. Like, I'm going to sleep so hard. I don't even know if I'm going to go out or what. Like, I don't know what the hell is going to go on, so... Anyway, I know I gotta eat. I gotta do something. I'm gonna figure it out. But uh, 
Yeah, hopefully I'll catch y'all later. Hopefully I'll catch y'all later, but if not, it is what it is, so. All right, I'll catch y'all later, Gator. Thank you.